G'day, James here from Content Snare. I've got an exciting update today about Content Snare. Um, well, I'm excited. Uh, you may or may not be, but I'm just going to run through it anyway. So uh, this is just a little request, um, standard uh, default new request. Um, just change the name. That's all I've done here. Um, first thing is just a little user experience thing. The uh, we used to create a field by default here, and you had to change it with the drop down, which was kind of weird. So now um, we just have the straight to go out of field and you get the same box you get every other time. Um, so it, it's a bit, makes a bit more sense. So um, first couple of things that I want to run through are these two. A couple of new fields uh, that quite a few people have asked for. So we've got a color picker first. Um, I'm just going to leave this as a default. It works like every other field. Uh, you can put some instructions on it, um, but that's all you really need to say. Um, and then add a field and there's an icon selector as well. So this works with um, font awesome icons. At the moment in the future, we may uh, expand this into some other sets and you'll be able to select what sets you want them to choose from here. But um, for now, it's just font awesome, which is awesome. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm just going to add a couple of other fields here just because I want to show you some changes on the client side. So I'm going to put a file field in and some text and I want to limit it between uh, 10 and 20 characters. Um, right, so there then that's everything I want to show there. Uh, now, there's also a bunch of new section templates, uh, which the idea behind these is to get you creating website. If you're a web developer, get you creating websites uh, much faster or templates for websites much faster. So you go new section. Um, my mouse is going crazy. I'm going to go use template and you'll see all these ones here. So these are built in now and they're all labeled, right? So we've got navigation, uh, footer. I'm not sure what's going on with the order there. We'll check that out. Um, this, this update hasn't actually gone live yet. So there's a couple of things we're still fixing. Um, but yeah, so you can see them here, header, services, and features. So let's say um, you wanted to go with a hero header with a button. You can click that. It'll add. So basically, we've included a whole bunch of stuff um, to get you running quickly. So this, it's actually got a um, template that we got made up, like a basic wireframe. They all use quite neutral colors. Um, so you can always explain to your uh, clients that, you know, blue isn't the final color, or you can do your own ones of these as uh, a paying subscriber. You have access to the actual sketch files uh, behind these. Uh, but yeah, so we've actually included some copyright instructions here, which you can go through yourself. Um, so this, this talks about why the header is important. Now, um, this is actually a little bug that is going to be fixed by the time this goes live. The order is wrong. It's actually completely reversed. So the first thing uh, is the background image. Uh, and we've got some instructions on what kind of image to use, and then you can limit the sizes and stuff. Next, uh, we talk about a headline, and we actually have some um, information on how to write a headline with a link through to a guide. So you can obviously change all of this. This is just by default. Um, but the idea behind this is you should now be able to really uh, quickly create your first template uh, or new templates by simply adding sections. Uh, so you can go new section, and then, um, you know, add a contact form or a uh, services and features three column section and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, hopefully um, that helps you get some templates done faster. And uh, one, I'm going to publish this quickly. And uh, I'm going to copy that to the clipboard so I can show you this in a second. But um, I want to show you one more thing inside that request. Um, under the actions button now, sorry, so un under the actions buttons now, we have these two things. So, oh, there's actually one missing, sorry. So there's complete all fields and that'll obviously mark all fields as completed, but um, because the client hasn't actually given us any uh, info yet, the other one isn't displaying, but there'll be another one here that says approve all completed fields. So that one, uh, that one's pretty uh, 
handy, I guess, if you just want to go through and not have to approve every single bit of content uh, that the client's provided so far, you'll just be able to go actions, uh, approve all complete fields, uh, and it'll, that's it. And it'll mark them all complete. So um, now I'm just going to open a um, incognito window to show you the client's request, the client side to all those things we just went through. So obviously we've got the color picker, that's what it looks like, pretty standard stuff. They can put the hex value in as well if they want it. Um, choosing an icon, you can search through font awesome. Um, now with files, so the two things, the differences are we've got some more uh, file extensions that you can put in here now. Uh, check out the full post for that. Um, but uh, we've also increased this to five megabytes. Now we are working on a solution that should enable us to you know, expand this a lot more. We're just a little bit limited with the tool we're using at the moment. Um, but yeah, that is coming. Uh, text field, slight UI changes here um, when there's um, constraints on the field. So it says we've actually got the little cross and tick there so they can see which things are wrong and right. Um, so if, and it says this is wrong. Oh, sorry, this, you know, you haven't hit 10 characters yet. We're currently at four. We also have the four character thing written there. And obviously the same if we go over 20. So just a little, uh, little update there. Um, that's it on the client side. Um, I'll just quickly go through this and make sure I've covered everything, the new templates. Yeah, we edited some of the email templates. They had grammar issues in them. Oh yeah, um, section expanded collapse state is remembered. So uh, when you are editing a uh, request, you can co collapse sections using this, right? And it didn't remember that position. So every time you came back in, that would be uh, back to expanded. But now it remembers where you were last time on that computer. That's not on an account level. That's just on that particular computer. Um, yep, yep. Oh yeah, um, so we also had a few issues uh, you might have encountered with large requests. Uh, so when you actually go to download, sorry, this isn't completed, um, but when you download the request at the end to get all the images and everything, or when you're creating templates that have large files uh, in all the instructions, um, there we had a few errors there and so we've moved all that into a background processing task so with the download it'll just bring up a, a pop-up and say you can close this but um, it'll download automatically when it's ready so that should uh, resolve a few issues um, yeah other than that that's pretty much it um, some sorting and filtering on the request page just to make things a bit easier, but you can read through all of this in your own time. Anyway, that's it for this update. Um, just so you know, uh, after this update, we are planning on um, sort of freezing for a little bit while we work on some backend uh, changes. The point behind this is that we want to get the platform ready for uh, a whole lot of things, including you know the new um, file of uh, system so we can have better limits. Um, what else? There's uh, so we can have multiple clients per request. Um, the way the authentication system works at the moment doesn't really allow for that. So it's kind of a, a back end change. We have to do some things that you're not going to see uh, active changes for a while. But once this next phase is complete, we should be all guns blazing uh, to start smashing out some of those features on our roadmap. All right, that's it. Um, make sure you hit me up uh, through the chat icon in the bottom right-hand corner of the app if you have any questions. Um, yeah, all right. Talk soon.